Classroom community activities are important regardless of the time of year. They can help build the environment of mutual respect within your classroom and help encourage classroom management. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Mary Ellen and I am an educator in the state of Illinois. Today I want to review just a few of my students' favorite classroom activities and they can be found in this book, Tribes, A New Way of Learning and Being Together. And I will be sure to link this in the description box below. So the first activity is called Two on a Crayon and I really like to do this one towards the beginning of the school year because it helps me locate the leaders within my classroom. For this activity, the students are not allowed to talk to each other before or during the activity and they are put into pairs. During this activity, the students have to have their hand on the crayon with their partner and they are to draw a picture together. During the activity, I play a song which I like to use Gotta Keep Reading by Mr. Heath. Once the song has concluded, the students put their crayon down. Then we go over the conclusion questions which are contained within this tribe book. Some examples of the conclusion questions are what was it difficult to not talk to your partner? Why did this activity help you get to know your partner? How did you decide who would lead and who would follow? Did you discover anything new about yourself? There are some additional questions in here as well. Some things that I personally notice is that some of my students can create some wonderful pictures, trees, houses, snow, just a great scenery. But other students come up with a great big blob. And usually this occurs if I have two leaders together and neither one is really willing to give up their leadership. But they still have fun and they laugh and they giggle at the end as they talk about why their picture turned out the way it did. Now the example I'm showing you on here was actually completed by twins, a brother and a sister. And when you have opposite gender twins, you usually have two leaders. And normally I wouldn't do this, but this was just an example. So since I had two leaders paired together, that is how the crayon was broken at the end of this activity. However, when completing this within a school setting, I have never had this occur before. They were still laughing and talking about how much fun the activity was when it was over. When I'm conducting classroom activities, I project the instructions as well as the questions up on the board. I personally am a visual learner, so I want to make sure that I incorporate that learning style as well. For my next activity, it's called Now I Am, and for this one, I have the students come up and they draw an emotion out of a bowl, and we play this just like charades. So the different emotions in the bowl would include fear, nervousness, uncomfortableness, sleepiness, and love. So there are many more, of course. And while they're up there acting it out, the other students guess the emotion. Once every single person has had a turn, we go over the suggested reflection questions within the tribe book. And they're split up into different categories like content, thinking, social, and personal. And there are also some appreciation and follow activities um, that are within this book that you can incorporate as well. Barnyard Babble has been voted my student's favorite every single year. For this one, I have different animals' names within a bowl, and the students come and they pull their name out. And of course, they don't share which animal they have. And there are two animals per bowl. Then they close their eyes, and they go around the room making their animal sound. Once they find their pair, they come to the front of the room with me and of course open their eyes. Once everybody has found their match, we then review the reflection questions within the tribe book. Another activity is joy. For this one, students get to share three things about themselves. For Jay, they get to share something that just happened within their life. Jay, something that just happened in my life. I did American Sign Language to O Holy Night at my church. For O, they can share one thing they would like to do for their self. And I would like to go buy myself a Sonic Route 44 Cherry Vanilla Dr. Pepper with no ice. For the Y part of joy, you get to share one thing about you that makes you very special. Why? Something that makes me special is that I like writing poems and stories. This is a really good way for students to get to know one another. And as educators are aware, students always have something to share. Once everyone is done with the activity, it's important to focus on those reflection questions. 
I use creative writing during language arts in order to help the students visualize different ways to write a story. So the students sit in a circle and the leader, aka the teacher, begins the story. Then the student next to the teacher continues the story and it just, just makes its way around the circle. And I usually do this two times. And I have it set up to where I begin and finish our tale. And the reason that I do this is so that I can show the students how to form a good conclusion. Once we're done, I give the students some time to talk about the process of different writing forms. And then also, if it was fun, how was it different from when you form a story on your own? What parts were hard? How could we improve? And even though they do a great job of working together, a lot of times they bring up ways that they felt that they could have uh, worked together just a little bit better. Those are just a few fun activities that I have implemented within the classroom. I personally find it highly important to utilize an activity at least once a week. Thank you very much for watching this video and have a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Remember to be proud of your work, productive in your day, and positively joyful.